Hello everyone, Human Hard Drive here. Today I want to talk to you guys about something I've had an issue with for a little while now. And that is the Arduino IDE. The Arduino IDE, and I mean absolutely no offense to the guys that wrote this, it's a good piece of software. It's just that it's really bad. Now, it does exactly what the basic Arduino user is looking for. It lets you write, it lets you write code, it lets you compile code, it even does a little bit of debugging. Or not debugging, it does a little bit of code error checking. That's all well and good, but it only works for like really small programs, or programs where you're not going to be doing a whole lot. When you start to write bigger applications, or bigger programs for the Arduino, it becomes apparent some of the bigger issues with this IDE. Uh, there's no good syntax highlighting. The error, the error system, the error, the code error finding system isn't that great. Uh, there's no dictionary. There's no autofill. It's just bad. <laughs> and it, when you write bigger and bigger pieces of code like this, it really gets messy. So, what can you do? Well, I've gone through and I've tried to write Arduino code in Notepad++, and that doesn't work very well at all. Now, if you've seen any of my AVRC tutorials, you've probably seen this bit of software, Atmel Studio. Atmel Studio is built off of Visual Studio from Microsoft. That's the software that lets you write C++ and C Sharp code, and Visual Basic code. But what Atmel has done is they've taken that and they've tweaked it so that you can write code for their AVR and ARM platforms. Now, one of the reasons I like Visual Studio, and say what you will about Microsoft and Visual Studio, I like it. And the reason I like it so much is because of plugins. Plugins take simple software and simple and easy to use software and make it a lot more powerful, uh, sometimes more complicated, but you know, a lot more powerful. And you can do whatever you want with plugins. One such plugin exists called Visual Micro. It's a plugin for Visual Studio and Atmel Studio, and I'll explain why I prefer Atmel Studio, that lets you write Arduino code in this. So, why should you do this? Well, if you've used the Arduino ID and you've noticed some of the shortfalls that I've mentioned, you're going to want to migrate to this. The other reason is Atmel Studio and Visual Studio is more widely used. It's used pretty much anywhere you'll go if you ever get into professional programming and software design. I know that I've used it on a number of places I've been employed and well it's it's just it's better. So what you can what you go ahead and do is you're gonna go ahead and download to install this you're going to need Atmel Studio first and you can just go on to Atmel. You're gonna need to fill out some information no big deal and then you can go ahead and download this and it's a simple install puts it right here and then pretty much everything is set up now this is only for people who use windows i don't know if atmel studio exists for any other platform but i'm gonna go ahead and guess that because it's a visual studio and microsoft product it probably doesn't so to linux and macintosh users i humbly apologize but i am a windows user so this is solely aimed at windows people So. You've got Atmel Studio and you've got Visual Micro. It's free. There is a, a cost. There's a purchasable add-on if you want it. I don't use it that I don't actually use it at all, so I haven't gone ahead and purchased it. But I'll talk about this probably at a later date if I ever get around to purchasing it. Okay, so you've got that installed and you've got Atmel Studio installed. What this adds is if you go under new or open, you have Arduino project, and this imports everything from all the Ar all the Arduino IDE stuff into Atmel Studio. So you've got under the Arduino tab under Tools, you've got all the boards you have installed. Uh, you have a serial monitor. You've got the programmers. You can even burn a bootloader. Only drawback is you can't see the example files, which was something kind of nice about the Arduino IDE. You just go under File and Examples. But if you know where all those example files are, they're not that tricky to get from Atmel Studio. So, why did I say you should get Atmel Studio over Visual Studio? Uh, if I open up an Arduino project, I will show you. And it automatically imports your sketch folder. So I can just open up a project, or I can open up anything. And I can just open up the 
ino file and we'll go ahead and load it and there we go so why visual studio well it's this thing right here visual assist x visual assist x is a plugin for visual studio if you get it with visual studio it costs money it's built into admel studio so right there that's pretty much the sole reason you should use Admel Studio over the regular Visual Studio. What is Visual Assist? Visual Assist, let's see if I can... So, I'll give you several examples of what Visual Assist can do. If I say highlight this variable name. If I rename it, variables allow you to rename something very simply while keeping, or you can change a value, and you can, and it changes the value throughout the program. So I can just go up here to this variable here and tweak this to 5 or 5 4 and that will change this variable value throughout the program but let's say I want to rename this variable I'd have to go through the entire code and find all the places of this and rename it so nice about Visual Studio is I can just click this arrow and I can hit rename and I can just type in something else and it will change the name of that variable throughout the entire code which is a really nice feature it has uh, Visual S Visual Assist gives better autocomplete, so you can just type in the start of your variable name, and it gives you an entire list. Visual Studio gives you the ability to see everything that belongs in this code, so you can look at any variable name, no matter where you are in the code. Big is you can condense methods, so I can just shrink this down. So. Visual Assist and Visual Studio is definitely the better way to go from the Arduino IDE. It just gives you a lot more control. Oh, debugging. I've mentioned debugging. If there is an error, I uh, really wish I had created an error. Oh, I, I guess I just, I'll rename that. I'll, I'll screw that. Uh, function AS was not declared in this scope. So I can just double click on that and it takes me immediately to where it is. The Arduino IDE doesn't do that. Now, if you've ever had a problem debugging a code, that is probably enough incentive to do this because that is a huge pain to deal with. So, check this out if you haven't. Again, Atmel Studio is free, uh, Visual Micro free. Try this for a week, and I guarantee you will love this more than the Arduino IDE and use it a lot more often. So, I'm Human Hard Drive. Thanks for watching.